All right. So you're going to read about a million and one pieces of bullshit about smoking a hive. Okay. The best one is it makes them go sleepy. I love that. Oh, that's a real Disney's one. It doesn't. It covers your smell for starters. Yeah. It tells them that there's a fire. Danger, danger, there's a fire. And just like us, if there's a fire, the first thing we do is we start getting stuff together and we prepare. In their case, they start filling their bellies in case they need to leave. Okay, because it's not like they have a handbag or you know, roll on luggage or anything like that. So when you smoke the hive, they get the smell and they go, oh, we're gonna have to leave, maybe. Let's, let's fill up and get ready. So give them a good puff. I usually do a, a few in the door. Yeah. If it's a mesh base, a few underneath. Yeah. Okay. Well, the and then this one around the front. Yeah. Lift one of your boards. Yeah. Pop it in there. Give that a smoke. Pump it in there like that. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. And give it a minute or two. Yeah. Okay. What about the ones that are all out foraging? They're the ones that are paying the arts, right? But the reason why we're doing it in the middle of the day is because 60% of the hive should be out there foraging. Okay. Okay, so the best time to do the hive is in the middle of the day. Oh, okay. The worst time is late afternoon because they all come home right. after a hard day's work. Okay. How are you after a hard day's work? Yeah, tired and grumpy. Yeah, so <laughs> why do you think they would be any different? Okay, so we just take our strap off throw that around the back. You can see that some of these have got quite a bit of sugar syrup comb in them. So you can see that side's fairly built out. And then this side, they're capping it. So this is sugar syrup that have been feeding the bees to keep them on track, okay? It's not a perfect dietary supplement. Okay, but what it does do is it gets them out of the woods. So how okay, do you know that's sugar? I can tell by the colour, it's so clear. Oh, okay. mm. That ain't gonna slide. There we go. Right, so what we might do is we might just stack a whole heap of these up the end yep. uh, and take this box off, and that'll make life a lot easier. We're just gonna start moving these ones in. All right, now, when we look over the top, tell me what you see. Well, I see them joined together. Mm -hmm. What else are you seeing? I'm seeing lots and lots of bees. Yep. What, tell me about this frame on this side then, the frame closest to me. I can't see so much honeycomb joining them. Mm -hmm. um, so this one's got no honeycomb joining them. Yeah. And when you're looking this way, you can see that they haven't built it. Oh, okay. They've built up, not out. Okay. Okay? So we can take that one out. Okay. A tool in the corner. Lift it up like that. Tool in this corner. Lift it up like that. Yep. We have, voila, all these guys who are busily building the comb. So you can see that's foundation. Yes. And that's the comb there that they're building. Right. They're just starting. Right. I'll just tell you something about... Um, aggressive bees. Yep. If you lift the frame out and hold it like this and they go from there to your face, they're bad. They're aggressive. <laughs> okay? okay? They're aggressive. Yes. When they're, when they're coming out of the hive and they're pinging your face trying to get you, yeah. that's not good. Yeah. If they're really angry and they've, you've wound them up or you've knocked them around or they've been transported or whatever, yeah. yeah, I can understand that. But if they're just actively very aggressive, you need to kill off the queen and go again. Alright? So here we go. That's capped honeycomb, yep. and that's not capped. Yep. There's no eggs or wet brood in this board either. Okay. Is there eggs under the capping? Nope, that's honey. Oh, okay. And then you have a look on this side, yep. okay? And there's not that much going on there either. Right. Okay. So we're gonna shake these guys off into there as well. Okay. I very rarely brush. I use a brush mostly to get bees off me. 
push them into a box or get a swarm. If you do this, they don't get damaged. Okay? Okay, so again, we're all honey so and a bit of pollen. So this is this is real pun, real honey. Okay, it's not um, sugar syrup. Okay. See, how it's darker. Look how white and clear that yeah, is. Yeah. Look how dark this one is. Yeah. Okay, they've built a bit of comb here. Let's rest that there. They built a bit of comb here. We don't want that. Get rid of that. So we could probably start now working out how we're going to get these frames attached to those. When that sits there, notch to notch, yep. and I look at this frame, it's a little long to fit in. See that? Yep. Okay, just a bit too long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these snippers, and hopefully, we're gonna start cutting. Okay, Virginia. Where would you put it? On the ends. Just go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just gonna poke it. Yeah, just poke it. Do whatever you like. <laughs> yep. Hey, that's worked. that's gonna work alright, isn't it? I reckon it's a bit hard and easier than twisting the Yeah. Now I always get mixed up, is that the round the right way? Yep, yep. <laughs> there it goes. So the bees aren't fanning. See these bees? Yep. Yep. Their wings are stationary, see? Yeah. They're just resting. Okay. Okay. But you have a look at these guys under here, and their wings are moving so fast that you can't actually see them. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what they're doing is they're spreading the queen's pheromone. So all the bees that are in flight or outside will smell that, and that'll know that the queen is here. Okay. So they're basically with a smell calling all the other bees that are out home. Oh wow, that's amazing. So the same thing happens with a uh, swarm. Once you get the queen into the box and the others all go in, well they go in because bees stand at the front and they fan. And this is what these guys are doing. They're fanning to say, hey, the queen's here. You... They were doing all this stuff before we got involved. Yeah. About two years is, is, is generally the term is best practice. Um, you can go longer, it's up to you, but for each year that she's laying, she's laying less and less. So the pros, you know, the commercial beekeepers, they want lots of bees. Lots of bees means lots of honey, yes. okay? So they would replace their queens every year. Right. Usually, generally in autumn, because it, the, the bees are less likely to swarm in the next season. Less likely, not that they won't. All right, so we've got um, two boards out here. Yep. Tomorrow we're gonna, you're gonna put those back in, okay? Um, to seal the bees inside, so they don't start using this as an entrance, an exit, yep. and also just to prevent other bees from robbing them. I think we'll leave them alone now. Don't wow. need to pester them anymore. But yeah, we could have just got the bees and shook, shook them into the into it and, and been happy, you know. But I think that with this, you've got some brood. There's more likely that they're going to stay. Okay, queen will be in there. 
Yeah, they just sort of got a, a, a running start. Yeah. yeah, sure, it's a lot more work, but I can't say I hated doing it. Did you hate no, doing it? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs>